All right, we are following breaking news that dangerous venomous snake spotted in the Raleigh neighborhood where it was first seen Monday night by our own CBS 17's Judith Ratana. Yeah, and Judith joins us live right now. Judith, you practically came face to face yeah. with this zebra cobra. Tell us what happened. Yeah, I swear I made eye contact with that snake. We were actually just out here getting a little update on what was going on. I wanted to knock on the door of uh, the place where the snake was first spotted on Monday. You know, I was looking around, making sure I was safe, watching my feet. I look down, take a look at this video. This is me looking down in the corner and spotting this snake. Its head was up and I was in a lot of fear. This is a snake that doesn't even have to bite you to be dangerous. It can spew its venom at you, kind of like a mace. And this is a very, very dangerous venom to be uh, hit with. So I was really scared, walked back down the stairs, told the police officers that I thought I was seeing this snake up there that, you know, classic black and white zebra look. This was my response as I went back to my uh, photojournalist, Dan West. I looked down and started just backing up. And that's when I backed I saw up. It's on the porch right now. Yeah, I went to knock and it's kind of on that corner. Right, stay, stay back. I'm, here. I am, I'm staying out here. Yeah, we backed away real quick. I was my first instinct was to scream, but this is this is a video of the snake. You know, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this, but it was a lot smaller than I anticipated. It's not this big, fat, slithering snake. It's kind of just a little guy who was sitting there in the corner. His head was perched up, and a little bit hard to see him now. But he was on that porch of this house where it was first spotted on Monday. So definitely a very scary situation out here. And this thing can spray its mace pretty far. So I was within reach of that and I just feel very lucky that I was able to back off. It was backing off at the same time. Its head was perched like this and we were both looking at each other and knew we didn't want anything to do with each other. So police have now closed us off. They've actually set us back twice now. Animal control is out here. So definitely a lot of movement here as animal control tries to figure out what to do next and where exactly is this thing is now. At least it has not moved very right. far from where it was spotted. That is the And I'm news. just glad that you spotted it before it noticed you and you know I'm just and I'm glad Dan West okay. was there. He's a great photographer and <sighs> captured that. And I love what the policeman said. That snake is so famous right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Yes. Well, Judith, I know clock. you'll stay on top of it and keep <laughs> us posted. And for the latest updates, check CBS17.com. We'll see you back again at 5 or 6. Have, Have a good one. Day.